for many years I've been able to feel an energy coming to the right side of my body and just recently I've been given some information that suggested that this may be an aspect of the goddess Mart. Now, I didn't even know there was a goddess Mart because I know nothing about Egyptian history. Just but don't I, tell her that. <laughs> <laughs> I found out she's the goddess of truth, justice and harmony and that really resonated with me. So I wanted to know from you whether you think this really is the goddess Mart that is around me. What do you feel? Uh, love. And do you feel it to be true? Yes, I do. <laughs> None of you actually need us. <laughs> However, it is a good question because we wish to put this around your consciousness. Now understand when I came into Starlight's consciousness and crashed into her world. To her, in the human mind, it was quite unexpected. I brought up her fear, I brought up her inadequacy, but we all know that is an illusion in the mind. And we have worked together consistently for 10 years now. Now she said to me, could I have a better name to start with? She thought that was silly, but that's all right. When she found out who I was in aspect to the Egyptian lineage, she had a struggle with it. And that is one of the reasons we chose her. Because she had no preconceived ideas of me or the Egyptian lineage. Now each of you are an aspect of what we would call also an oversoul within this dimension. Now this is not absolute truth but it is part of the structure of consciousness within this dimension that each of you, how shall we say, are in resonance with one of 12 aspects of consciousness. Now you will see the number 12 through much of your creation, such as the 12 apostles, the 12 signs of the zodiac, etc, etc. The ancients knew of the 12 consciousnesses. Now in Egypt they were given names such as Ra, as Min, as Mark, as Anubis, you see what we are saying? In Greek mythology, which is truth by the way, all mythology is actually original truth that the powerless ones now say in stories. In the Greek arena of consciousness, they were given different names, but everything resonates to a frequency. You resonate to a larger consciousness or aspect that you have given a name, a personality, and an identity to. We personally would rather have no name because that restricts us and that restricts you but we need to talk to the ego mind. So we bring ourselves in with some form of identity to get through the ego mind to start with. Because honestly, if we stood here and said, well, we have no name and we're sort of scattered all over the place, which we are, which you are, you wouldn't take much notice. Because the ego mind is always judging. The ego mind is always on the lookout for what is this really? So you have come in on a lineage of might. And you would find in this lifetime that what she represents is the very struggles and challenges you have had to face. Yes. Does this assist you? It does, thank you. And thank you for your story about um, the Hollywood blockbuster because I channeled a blog on exactly that topic only two days ago, so it was really uh, interesting for me to get that extra information. Thank Very you. good. We love to give confirmation that you aren't going mad after all. Thank you. Oh, my. <laughs>